the purpose of this video is to demonstrate the pecking lobes tactic where we try and get below a, a radar's beam below the curved earth line of sight picking up a bar lock here in the distance we got a bar lock at about let's see here about 100 miles away and I'm currently at about 8000 MSL I can uh, take over fly this aircraft manually I'm using a th Thrustmaster Hotas Cougar to fly this guy let me uh, see if I can get below the lobe here and you'll see my search indication on my RWR will go away and uh, up here on my LQ-161 you see I'm locked on to this is a pretty distinctive five or six beam system so once that goes away I'm below the main lobe All right, we've already lost our bar lock up at around 40. Or I guess we're around 4,300 when that happened. So I'm gonna put the autopilot back on, <clears throat> and we'll come down and we'll, we'll set this guy to 4,500 MSL. <clears throat> okay, and uh, do not have a bar lock indication. I expect if we're close to the detection altitude that here shortly will get picked up again. Now what I could do is maybe pop up uh, a little bit here. Okay, so 4900 MSL, I'm picking up Barlock. Let's bring this back down to 4600 and see where that gets us. And we've we've got just below the beam, so we peck the lobe. We're below it, and I expect shortly. Yep, he's got us again. Let's go down another couple hundred feet. Okay, he's got us. Okay, we're below the lobe. Looks like about 300 foot increments is what we want to do here. So probably shortly he'll get me again. Send a few hundred feet. So, point being that Mace will calculate the uh, four thirds Earth or curved Earth line of sight. Here we got picked up here at 42, 4,000 feet. I'll get right below that lobe. It's pretty flat terrain here, so we have no mountainous obstructions or anything like that. So, I'm fairly certain this is a curved Earth limitation that we're seeing here. Mace will do the curved earth line of sight check first because it's relatively inexpensive. If we pass that check, Mace will do a detailed terrain analysis and see whether or not there's any mountains or any other hills or anything like that that are blocking radar line of sight. I purposely chose this flat region just to demonstrate the pecking the lobes tactic and take mountainous terrain out of the equation. But yeah, you can see you know, every few miles here, I got to descend another couple hundred feet to get below that radar coverage. And because this Barlock has probably eight or nine second scan, he's only picking me up, maybe getting a ping, and then um, I'm getting below his coverage before he has time to build a track, which is the purpose of the tactic. And if I wanted to be maybe a little bit more tricky, then I could stop coming in on exactly the same azimuth. Maybe he picks me up. I think he maybe he's gotten a ping or two, and maybe I want to uh, drop it down a little bit, change my azimuth for for a little while, just in case he gets me again. I don't look like I'm exactly the same target coming in on exactly the same radial.